that you get the opportunity to, to put some things in place. And obviously, I don't do these, but the people of Ottawa County who step up, um, I just maybe come up with some ideas, and then through my staff and through people in the community, such as the commissioners and otherwise, uh, and Mr. Sass has always been very supportive of what we've done here um, as a juvenile court, but um, there's just so many. I, I come to work in the morning and I'm thinking of other things that we could be doing, how kids could be getting involved in activities, and um, and so. Tell me a story. <laughs> you know, Carl, we are on camera. Yeah, tell yeah. me the now, story. Now, is this why we call him the former Oops. commissioner? <laughs> yeah, that's that's why he didn't oh, get reelected. <laughs> this is probably the courtroom he spent most of the time in. Yeah, yeah. I hate yeah. the story. No, the judge always has great stories. I mean, look at these things. Well, and, and let me say, do you wear this, Judge? <laughs> <laughs> this was. These are all from programs that I've had. This huh. was actually. Uh, we have a fifth grade mock trial program. We invite all the fifth graders in the county to come to the courthouse and they actually get to be uh, lawyers and witnesses and jury members and they have uh, skits that they like BB Wolf and Curly Pig and that sort of they're actually trials and so one class decided that this is what I was going to be and that is the ruler and so I had to keep that and then one of our CASA volunteers, and CASA is another program that um, we brought in and is just is, is wonderful. And for those of your viewers who don't know what CASA is, it's Court Appointed Special Advocates. And we have several people who volunteer here in the community and are the voice of children here in the courtroom uh, who are abused, neglected, or dependent. And the information that's provided to me through these volunteers is immense. And so anyway, one of them decided that this would be good for me in the courtroom. And so this is this is not how I make my decisions. <laughs> Whatever works. But that's right, that's right. And then this, we also have um, here at the juvenile court, um, what's called specialized dockets. Those very intensive judicial oversight programs for, one is called HOPE, uh, Helping Our Parents Excel. Uh, mothers and fathers who've lost their children or at risk of losing their children because of abuse, neglect, and dependency. Um, some are dealing with substance abuse, uh, mental, mental health issues. And so um, when they do something really good, then we, are, we're, we, we clap for them. So those are just some of the props that I use here in the courtroom. Very nice. Yes. Well, a lot, of, a lot of wonderful things are being done in here. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people need to come through these doors. However, um, the service that you and all of your staff are uh, supplying is really what makes our county so special. Well, a lot, a lot of the youth that come through here have issues, be it their own or, or as a result of their, their, their own life that they have. And I think programs like the Student Achievement Program, which was recognized as a, as a, by the state of Ohio a year ago, is a way of working with, with these youth that have issues and, and hopefully get those resolved and make them productive uh, citizens. Because to have them be productive and paying taxes is a better deal than going the other way and, and becoming a burden on society. So I think it's huge, the program that the judge has been able to in, initiate uh, to benefit the youth that, that we have here in, in our county. And I think to talk about the student achievement program, one of the unique things is, is they, the court came to us and said, we're thinking about doing this. I think it was, was it Norwalk, Willard, someplace like that that was doing it. So they went and met with them. And they found out they were in their like second year putting it together, trying to get it going in four months four months we had it going in Ottawa County. Wow. And it's such a great program. If yeah. you go to those graduations and see those kids I wanted to that go have, this year, I have know, finally sure. made a, a commitment to do something in their life and, and they're going to move back either into the school system, into the class they should be in, or even graduate from high school. And, and I sit there with tears rolling. It's just it is. very, it is. very moving. It is. And it, I think that it, it certainly helps all of our staff here to see you know, those kind of programs where kids are being successful. Yeah. And we have a success board back here, and I don't know if we have time, maybe we can walk back there. Yeah, sure. Um, uh, again, we won't be showing any pictures, obviously, of kids, but one of the other new programs we also have this year is our diversion program. For those kids who are first offense, nonviolent offenders, as opposed to going through the 
um, the entire uh, court process. Um, they go to diversion and uh, they're asked to do projects and posters and essays and community service. If they complete all of those things, then their case is going to be dismissed, sealed, and we're finding that a lot of kids aren't coming back after that diversion program. So, you know, it's helpful as well to families that, um, you know, that their kids get in trouble, you know, again, nonviolent first offenses, and, and they can get through the system and then, and then be done and hopefully learn a lesson and not want to come back. It sounds like they do. Well, if you want to give me your crown, I'll put it back on your, on your throne. <laughs> I, I'd like to wear it when I'm around you. <laughs> now there's a Valentine's picture. Oh, <laughs>